A righteous person is somebody who cares um, about others. Where someone who is evil does bad and evil to others. The righteous person is happy with what he has. And a bad person, he's a selfish person. I don't know, everybody has the potential to be either righteous or evil. It's just, you know, every day you have to make decisions and sometimes you make the right ones and you end up being someone who's, you know, a great person and sometimes you make the wrong ones and you, you know, go down that path. <laughs> I don't think there's really that many uh, truly evil people in the world. So it's a good question. You see, there's nobody in this world, I mean, there's some maniacs, but there's some weirdos, but everybody wants to be good. Everybody wants to be good. You ever see a fellow, he kicks his own mother in the stomach. I mean, that's nasty. Yeah, you're lower than a snake's belly. Wow, how can you do something like that? Disgusting. He says, do you know all the facts? How can you condemn me if you don't even know all the facts? He's got a point. You say, okay, snake's belly, tell me the facts. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to my, my prosecution. Yeah? And he says, well, I was reading this novel. I was lost in this novel. And... My mother says to me, take out the garbage. I mean, you realize, if I take out the garbage, she's going to ask me to do the dishes, and who knows where it's going to go? I'm going to be persecuted. I have to make a stand for freedom. Yeah? The snake's belly. Yeah? The good man, he takes out the garbage. Right? Of course he takes out the garbage. His mother asks, takes out the garbage. So you say, hmm. Wow, what a good man I saw. You were lost in that novel, and you were really in another world, and your mother asked you to take out the garbage. She had to ask three times, but finally you heard her, and you stood up, and you took out the garbage. I got to say, I'm very impressed. He says, you didn't notice while I was taking out the garbage, I kicked my own mother in the stomach. He said, what are you talking about? You never, I, I was watching you. What are you talking about? He says, why was I grumbling? I wanted her to suffer. So she wouldn't ask me to do the dishes. And who knows what else, yeah? <laughs> I wanted her to feel bad about interrupting me, yeah? That's terrible. Now, how really should you take out the garbage? Say, Mom, <laughs> thank you so much for asking me. What an opportunity. I can take out the garbage. My pleasure. Uh, when I come back, maybe I, I'll do the dishes and you have some errands, something that you got to get done, yeah? Oh, it's so hard to be good if you have a definition then you can struggle. If you don't have a definition, we just paint ourselves good. You know? <laughs> we just paint ourselves good. The fundamental difference between a righteous person and someone who's evil is the choice between either using your free will correctly or misusing it. If you believe in God and you believe in like absolute morality, then it's a pretty clear-cut thing. If you don't, then there's no way to judge things besides like your society's pressure. Um, I don't know. I guess their perspective on life, the way they treat other people, the way they look at things. Everybody knows that you, you are brainwashed by your society. If we were born in India, holy cows. And if we were born in Iran, Khomeini fans. And if we were born in Italy, rosary beads. And if we were born in Gaza, kill the Jews. <laughs> we all know that. So we're born wherever we are. So we say abortion is fine. Uh, there's a uh, the Haredim who, uh, uh, <laughs> that's not good. You know, you should find out. You should clarify. How do you know you're right? Because the first thing comes from knowledge. Once we know what's right, we know what's good, then we can use our will to be good, to overcome our desire to do what we feel like doing and to rationalize that we are the truly good men. Only we are the good men, wherever we're born.